Right, let's head over to Chef Mark in the Beko kitchen. And this morning, a duck noodle recipe, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Because we don't do duck very often here, no, do I we? I know, yeah. I think this is the first time we've done duck. Oh, well, it's about time because duck is one of my favourites. So take us through <laughs> what you're going to be using. Right, so we've got a duck noodle soup. So I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect duck breast. We've got some chicken breast in there as well, just to enhance the flavour of the broth. Yum. We've got some Asian vegetables and lots of the usual uh, suspects there. Soy, the Chinese rice wine, and Beautiful. some rice uh, noodles as well. And Fantastic. I just need to uh, correct you, it's duck. 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 Yeah. Okay. duck noodle soup duck. It's duck and noodle soup, not duck. Queen's English. <laughs> OK, thank you very much, Mark, for that correction. Looking forward to find out how to make this soup soon, this duck soup. We're in the Beko kitchen and we're making a noodle soup. It's the first time we've used duck, so let's get going, because I love duck, one of my faves. Right, I'm going to show you how to cook duck. OK, right. nice, good. So, cold pan. Cold pan. So, oh, we've got okay. a nice duck breast here. So, yeah. I've trimmed it all up, so it's nice and uh, trimmed. trimmed you were the scoring it before, too, I Yes, the yeah. excess fat, and I've scored it as well. So, there's a tip for you so yes. if you trim your duck breast up pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes yeah it will just um set that fat and then you can just get a sharp knife and score it and that's going to help render out any uh fat or, nice. e or extra fat and you can save right. it for some chips later yeah. exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Duck chips mm. best chips you'll ever taste right a little bit of salt on that yeah skin side down and it's no, still cold yeah cold okay. pan no extra oil oh okay All right. then on the flesh side a little bit of five spice okay just to give it that sort of you know nice um uh, spicy Chinese. taste? Yeah. No, no, not spicy. <laughs> Fragrant. Fragrant. And a little bit more salt. Oh, that smells good. And, uh, and then we're just going to leave that. So with a duck breast, it's similar to fish. We're going to cook it about sort of 85, 90% on the uh, fat side. That's going to render all the fat out. Yeah. And it's going to make the skin crispy. Yeah. And then we're going to flip it over. You can just pop it in a uh, hot oven for like a minute or so, or even just cook it in the pan, and it's going to be nice and pink. OK, so you're just going to leave it sitting here, yep. soaking up those spices and salt yeah, yeah. in the meantime? Yeah, so it's very, very slowly cooking. Oh, OK. And we're, so we'll keep going back oh, to this on. Okay, segment. Cool. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so just on a low heat. So the longer you can do this, the better. Great. Right, I've got some uh, chicken stock in here. So this is going to be the base of our broth. Mm -hmm. Right, I've got some... Um, Seems to have a hole in my yeah, uh, pot. I was going to say, is the, is the pot leaking? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, well. But the show must go on. The show must go on. Right, so the broth, uh, chicken stock in there, star anise goes in there. We've got a couple of garlic cloves. Just nice. going to uh, smash those up just to release the flavour. Brilliant. Got some ginger. You can leave the skin on for this. Um, okay. You know, so all those uh, trimmings, you know, when we square the ginger off and you've kept them in the freezer this is when you can use them. Nice, and you can go back and have a look on our Facebook page actually for that. We just showed you some tips on how to cut your ginger and save some offcuts for yeah, this type it. of cooking. Peeling the ginger. Right, so it's all about building up flavour now. So I'm going to cut the spring onion in half. I'm going to use the sort of the whitish parts. I'm yes. pop them in. That's going to give us some more flavour. I'll keep the green parts for um, some garnish a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of chilli in there as well, just to, just to get a little bit of flavour, mm. and then we'll chop some later if you want um, some chilli. Smelling good. Got some soy sauce goes in there now. Brilliant, Chef. And uh, some Chinese rice wine. Chinese rice wine? Yep. Nice. Give it some flavour, so give that, a, give that a good stir, give is, it a taste. Is this a good broth to make and, you know, maybe freeze it and store it well, up? Well, yeah, you could, you could do a huge uh, pot of this, cool. and then stick it in the freezer and just, um, you know, take it out, defrost it, and then you've got the base already. Nice. But literally, if you try that now, I mean, you've got so much flavour in there already. Um, but bring it up to the boil and then we're going to turn it down and I'm going to poach my chicken breast in here. So by the time the chicken breast is poached, you're going to get all those fresh flavours from all those other ingredients and mm. it's just going to be like full mm. of flavour. So chicken breast goes in whole. That's beautiful. Yeah. Bring that up to the boil again. Yep. And I'm going to turn that down and just going to really lightly simmer it for about 10-15 minutes and that chicken breast is just going to poach really, really slowly and then we can just rip it apart. So have a look at our duck breast now. So there was no oil in this pan, and you can see yeah. we're already getting a bit of oil now. Okay, I see. And, and just then, on a low heat. Yeah, so just okay, a low, low heat. So it just takes takes a good amount of time, but that's what you want to do, you know. If, if you do it too fast, you're going to have the, that fat layer between the skin and the flesh. Mm, and you yeah. can see how lean this um, this duck breast is, so you've got to yeah. be really, really careful when you do it like that. Okay, and I've got nice. some noodles as well, which yes. are just soaked in boiling water. And uh, we'll just wait for the chicken breast to cook and get that flavour in the broth, and then we're ready to do our second part. How long do you reckon that'll take? Uh, about 15, about, about a good 15 minutes just low simmering. And this one here, how do you uh, think it's ready? And that's probably going to be about 15 as well. Okay, by great. The time, and it'll all come together and it'll be fantastic. Things are smelling incredible here, and we'll get the second part of this recipe very soon. Make sure you sign up and be in to win free power for a whole year. Go on, sign up. I've done it. It's nice and easy. I can't win the prize, though, but you can. Okay, Mark, we need to finish off this duck. Uh, 
uh, where are we at? Because right, it's so looking still pretty raw. Yeah, so have a look at the duck now. Oh, look so at that. Nice, nice golden skin, mm. nice and crispy. And yep. look at all this. So this is all the fat which rendered out. Oh, nice. You're going to keep that? Definitely. Okay. Put that on your potatoes. It'll be the best Oof. potatoes you've ever had. Yum. Right, so at this stage now, you can flip it over. Okay. So onto the flesh side. And then if you've got a hot oven about 200 degrees, pop it in there for about two minutes, take it out, let it rest for about three or four minutes before slicing and it. And we're still on lowish? Yeah, cool. um, ideally you want to do this in the oven, but I'm just going to do it in the pan okay, just so I can enough. show you. Yeah, nice. Right, I've taken all the uh, the bits of ginger and garlic out of there, all the flavourings, so I've taken all that out now. Yep. I've taken the chicken breast out, and this okay. is what we're left with. And then all we want to do now is just, it's all cooked through, it's nice and moist, and we're just pulling it into nice little chunks. So nice, nice and rustic. Can I tell you this really embarrassing thing that happened while Holly was doing her thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you do that. I, try, I tried this and I went, oh, this duck tastes like chicken. Mark goes, it is chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't realise we were using duck and chicken. Must listen more carefully. Thank you, Mark. That's why we put everything on the website so you can go back and double check. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> right. Right, tastes so like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Anyway. Right, so we've just got some Chinese um, just cabbage here. You can use bok choy or choy sim or you know, anything from sort of an Asian uh, supermarket. Um, just get that, make sure you wash it, and then got some boiling uh, water over here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to blanch it in there, have a little bit of salt in there. So I'm going to stop bringing everything together now. Okay, and would you save that and use it for a floral decoration on the plate? You could put a candle in the middle it's of that. It's quite, quite pretty. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Candle holder in an emergency, there yeah. you go. I'll give it to the guinea pigs, they'll love that. Oh, nice. Um, some dried mushrooms, so that goes in the stock now. So they're just going to rehydrate and just flavour that stock. You know, it's beautiful sort of mushroom flavour. There's shiitakes. Uh, let's check this duck. So it really doesn't take long to cook now. So if you feel that duck and prod it, you've got a nice spring there. Yeah. So that's what you're after. Okay. So maybe I'm going to give that another sort of 10, 20 seconds. I'm going to let it rest. And then that'll be nice and juicy and pink in the middle. But you need to you need to prod your duck. Okay, but here's a question on the on the prodding of it though. How yeah. do you know what the springy is? Well, because if you if you've got a raw duck and you prod it, there's no resistance at all. It's just like jelly. It just goes in, right? So the more you cook it, the more springy you're going to get. Yeah. If it's really hard and tough, like and it's a tight spring, then it's mm. overcooked. But right. you've got so you've got a spring there. But like my muscles, you know? sometimes yeah. overcooked. <laughs> Tight, you know. So, ah. so, and, and that's it. So that was literally a minute and a half, two minutes in there. Great. You know, you've done all that cooking on the crispy, on the skin side, rendered that fat. It's nice and crispy. I'm going to let that rest now. Mushroom is nice. In there. I've got the noodles soaking in there. They're ready to go in. That's coming together. So just a bit of garnish now. Oh, this is nice and quick. I like it. So green parts of the spring onions, just yep. roughly chopped. That's going to go in last minute. Yes. I'll put a little bit, a few more chili slices in, just for a bit of colour. And I've got some basil here and some mint as well. So it'll just give it a real sort of fresh fragrance. Mm. Just pull those leaves off. Nice. And then that's just going to go in last minute. Oh, I can smell that as soon as you did that. So that goes in. The chicken, which we've picked, goes back in just to warm up. Any juices as well, back in there. <laughs> as soon as that um, vegetable's ready, you know, just wilted it. That can go back in there or even go straight in the bowl. And this is ready to dish up now. Just going to slice the duck, dish it up. Good to go. A little bit of corn if you so desire. Oh, yeah, cool. Nice that. bit of colour. Nice. Yeah, yeah you're gonna, I was going to say a nice bit of colour in there. And some bean sprouts as well. Nice but all, all this is literally last minute, so it's still nice and crunchy. Just get a little bit of warmth through it. Okay, cool. Well, we'll see the finished product very soon. Thank you, Mark. This looks incredible. Yeah, I mean, you can get the recipe at our website, thecafe.co.nz. Cannot wait to try this. Now it's time for my favourite time of the show when we get to taste Mark's cocking and his duck noodle soup today. How's it looking? It's looking fantastic. I've plated it up. We're just going to slice the duck, show you the duck. Oh, how it's beautifully nice cooked pink. duck. A duck. Look at that. Duck. Pop that on top. Beautiful. Oh, that's a meal I'd pay money for. There you go. Have <laughs> it. Twenty-five dollars, please. Oh, really? Oh, that's quite a bargain <laughs> from you. Bargain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a bacon and pumpkin gratin.